For 27 years, Jim Inhofe has represented Oklahoma in Washington, D.C., first as a congressman for seven years and then as a senator for 20 years. As he approaches his 80th birthday in November, Inhofe is seeking another six-year term in office. He is being challenged by Democrat Matt Silverstein of Bixby, a newcomer to politics. Each of the candidates believes their age should factor into voters' decisions. On November 17th, Senator Jim Inhofe will celebrate his 80th birthday. Inhofe is a seasoned pilot and took to the air for one of his recent campaign ads. I can hit more Oklahoma towns in a day, listen and help more people than I could in a week if I were driving. 435 visits so far. Look up. Jim might be heading your way now. Inhofe is quick to respond to critics who say he's too old to serve in the Senate. Six years ago I was up and people at that time would said, Inhofe, you're too old to run for again for the United States Senate. And I said, my response was, when I'm too old to fly an airplane upside down, then I'm too old to run for the United States Senate. Inhofe says his longevity in Washington has elevated him to key minority positions on two of the most powerful committees on Capitol Hill the Environment and Public Works, and the Armed Services Committees. I am the ranking member of that. That means as a minority party, I'm the top one in that committee. And so that's why I've been so active on the things that affect us. 34-year-old Matt Silverstein says it's time for Inhofe to retire. Uh, with all of his seniority that you're talking about, in his 28 years with the federal government, he's been responsible for a whopping nine bills becoming law, and three of them were naming post offices. Silverstein has never run for office before. He and his wife, Erica, have two children, three-year-old Nora and four-month-old Sadie. He has a degree in political science and is an independent financial planner. I also understand the challenges that are being faced right now by millennials. Um, and I think that if you don't understand, um, then you shouldn't be serving in the U.S. Senate because that is our future. We followed Silverstein on the University of Tulsa campus while he talked to people about the economy and the repayment of student loans. Why we don't allow them to refinance at lower interest rates um, is mind-boggling to me and it's inexcusable when you consider the fact that we, the taxpayers, have actually guaranteed the banks against any loss. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, exactly. Silverstein has pushed for a debate with Inhofe, but the incumbent senator has declined. Inhofe is confident of being reelected. I'm spending my uh, almost every waking hour <laughs> uh, campaigning for others. Uh, Republicans would take control of the United States Senate this time, and I, and there are several of them that I was, you know, for example, yesterday I was with Dan Sullivan from Alaska, and the day before I was with the, the, our candidate from uh, North Carolina, Tillis. And uh, I just think it's real important that Republicans take over control of the United States Senate because I think that. Obama's just been a disaster for America. Inhofe believes cuts to the country's defense have left the nation vulnerable. In our issue of readiness, we have declined in this administration to the point that we have, I've looked and I thought, how can we be degrading our readiness and our abilities in, in, uh, in the United States uh, so much in just one administration, but we have been. Inhofe thinks it's time for military action on the ground to fight ISIS. This is not just some ragtag uh, terrorist operation as the president tried to make people believe it was. This is an all out war and we've got to get in there and win this war. It's a very, very serious thing. So the way he's been handling it, uh, you know, I do approve of the airstrikes, but to make the people of America believe that it's gonna be won in the air is, is dishonest. You're talking to somebody who called for uh, action in Syria over a year ago um, after Assad used chemical weapons against his people. Why did I do that? The reason I did that was because Israel was uh, asking. Um, and Senator Inhofe opposed action a year ago. And had we taken that action, um, we wouldn't be seeing the kind of problems that we're seeing now. Silverstein blames both parties in Washington for the state of the nation, including the debt of the United States. If elected, Silverstein intends to reduce spending. Inhofe says when it comes to spending, he follows the Constitution. I can say that we're supposed to be spending money in certain areas. If you read the Constitution, it says that we're supposed to do two things. One, we're supposed to defend America. Number two, roads and highways. Now that's in the Constitution. Recent polls show Inhofe leading Silverstein by a significant margin of 15 to 20 points.